Looks like wild boar. Not too far from camp. Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survive Russia, we are in the woods, we are in the forest, we are doing a little overnighter and what we are going to do today, surprise surprise, is that I am going to show you how to, to uh, set up the French Foreign Legion, <laughs> the French Foreign Legion jungle tarp setup, the flying tarp as I call it, because it has no strings, no guy lines attached to the ground. It's a super awesome setup and I actually have approval of an actual French Foreign Legionnaire who says that I did it right, because I've done it uh, once before, but only the tarp set up, not with uh, the hammock and all that good stuff, and also not with an overnight. We're going to do an overnighter, but that's going to be in the main video. But we're going to need a tarp, some cordage, and this and that, and I'm going to yeah, show you right now how we're going to set it up, what we're going to do with the tarp, how we're going to measure out our sticks and uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, we're going to set up the tarp from uh, this young tree there, to that young tree there, there we have the fireplace. We could set up our tarp in the jungle there, but uh, why? And why use the shelter when we can uh, sleep in a sleep in an awesome uh, hammock setup? I'm actually not that much of a hammock kind of a guy because uh, to me it looks like a bear burrito. Nonetheless, let's get on with it. It is an awesome setup. I really like it. And I never tried it, so that's what we are doing. This here is a British Army Basha. It is an original. It is not the Webtex thing. I like this uh, desert camp here because it's light. What we're gonna need here... We're gonna need uh, two sticks. And how we're gonna, because we're gonna, we can say, span the top out between two sticks, one in each end. And how we're gonna find out what's the right size is that uh, we can take a small stick, as I did, this guy here, and I attach it in this end here, like this. I lay it on the ground, lift the middle there, and I just look at it and, like, yeah, that seems to be like a good angle. That seems to be like a good angle, actually, anyway. So uh, that's what we're going to use. Sticks like this. We know it's this, uh, approximately this height, a little bit taller than me. I have both of them here. One I already had, the other one I had to cut. But that's how that is. But let's get the top here off the ground. I don't like my tops laying on the ground. And I certainly don't like stepping in them. We'll, of course, need a ridge line. And uh, for ridge lines, I like this uh, jungle cordage here because it can be used for all sorts of stuff. I have uh, it permanently in my pouch. I got it from a subscriber. This is actually a subscriber gear overnighter, partly anyway. But you can see it's a double layer of paracord with a lot of knots on it. And uh, one awesome thing is that uh, you can uh, use this for setting up your tarp or whatever, a guy line or ridge line without any nuts, except from the ones that you already made. <laughs> you see, just a loop and nuts, 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 nuts. And here we have the other end. We have a loop here, we have a knot here, right? We bring them together, not uh, super close to the, to the trunk here, but if you can see, We simply just do like this, and then we can uh, actually pull all that we want, right? I'm, I'm pulling with my whole weight, which is not that little. <laughs> and uh, these are getting tighter, they are closing around the, the knot here, and uh, that is 
a very useful thing. So that's what we're going to do. So here's about head height for me. That's going to be the, the ridge line of the top. I'll lift it a little bit more. Something like that. That's going to be a, a nice ridge line. Ridge line, ridge line. I think this looks pretty all right. And then we, of course, going to have to put a lot of tension on this. Something like that. Let's see where does it fit. Yeah, or we can just get a finger in here. Whoop. Like that. These tarps here, they are super awesome. As I say, make, if, you, if you're gonna get one, make sure it's not the civilian uh, web text copy. I must have had this tarp here for more than 10 years now. And uh, it's just super sturdy. It's not the lightest, it's about a kilo or something. I already mounted a stick in this end here. I chose to use uh, steel wire because uh, we are at the camp and I have steel wire at the camp and I have a multi-tool. Multi-tool and uh, toilet paper is something I always have permanently in most of my packs, anyway the packs that I use. Here we have the other stick and the other end which is not finished, so uh, let me show you how I do that. That is uh, pretty darn simple. So the steel wire just slide in through this uh, loop here. We are having it like this and I will just get it underneath here and twist it a few times. I'll give it one more. Join the ends here, twist it, and just take the multi tool, trim off this little guy here, and uh, the setup is complete. <laughs> no, it's of course not, it doesn't look so awesome here, right? But uh, this is because we are not done yet. And uh, now I'm gonna show you the, the last step here. We're gonna need some cordage, and I have some cordage here. I hope it's long enough. <laughs> well, anyway, cordage. We join the two ends here. Get this guy around here. Like that. And there's, of course, most likely something like one million different ways to do this. But I just do it the simple and easy way because uh, that's very often a good solution for the outdoors. Just check. Tension seems to be good. So I'm not here. Whoop, like that. And we are set. That's a flying top, and what is super awesome about it is that it's stable as well. So we're under the top, we can stand up and everything, super awesome. And as I uh, wanted to show you, it's very, very stable. It is not going anywhere. Here we have our hammock, a uh, subscriber sent it to me. I am pretty sure it's a subscriber anyway. It's certainly a viewer. <laughs> and the uh, Eno Sub 7 hammock is very very small and lightweight. Made of uh, this uh, funky uh, material. Nylon. You see? Something like this here. Super lightweight. I never ever tried it before. So uh, let's see how that goes. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty interesting. Houston, we have a problem! <laughs> Because uh, I never used this uh, hammock before, and uh, just for the fun of it, let me see, we have some instructions. We should always read the instructions, even if we think we know everything. But uh, I, uh, it's written here that, uh, that um, I should attach my uh, suspension system 
So we uh, supposedly are two straps. And we can see, maybe we can see, I don't know. Here, doesn't matter. Uh, supposedly there should be two straps in this uh, pouch, which attaches to the, to the hammock itself. But there are no two straps. And that is not the subscriber, viewer's fault who sent it to me. That is my fault, because I never checked it. <laughs> but we have the carbiner in one end here, and uh, we have a carbiner in the other end. So uh, I will just uh, improvise a little bit. Improvise and overcome. These are not for climbing, I can see. And they are rated for 400 pounds. Okay, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit less than what I weigh. But okay, let's try it. I'm fighting a little bit with the, with the yeah. hammock. And uh, I'm improvising. And I can see that either this tarp is not ideal to use in combination with this hammock, or this hammock is not ideal to use in combination with this tarp. <laughs> because uh, you can see the hammock here is a little bit, it's just almost like the same length. That means that we're going to rain here, right? Then we're going to have this part here hanging out, and that would run rain down here. But I know we're not going to have any rain. But here we have uh, my uh, brilliant solution, and I know you hammock guys, you have much more brilliant solutions, or much better and more brilliant solutions than mine here, I'm pretty sure. But we just have this piece of paracord here. I have a little bit of a toggle. And uh, I think that uh, it's going to be something like this. We're going to see. Now I just wrapped this whole bundle here around itself and made a knot. And what I will do is I will take this little toggle here, I'll show you in a second, and place it within the knot itself, because uh, that's going to make it a whole lot easier to untie when we remove this toggle here from the knot, because the knot's going to be very tight, of course, right? There are most likely better ways to do this. But this is how I am going to do it right now. This material is flimsy. But it should, uh, supposedly it's uh, from a super awesome uh, manufacturer and all that good stuff. But let's see how it goes. <clears throat> and I have my knife and I have a sidearm. I'm a little bit nervous that they'll rip a big hole in this little guy here. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to line it with the... With, with, the, with, the, with the ground pad here, which of course I'm going to do anyway, when we're going to sleep. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> But it's holding up really nice. So far, so good. <laughs> and I have a sleeping bag, a very light jungle sleeping bag with a mosquito net. Good morning from the mosquito net. And tra -la 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 -la. But uh, that's basically it, guys. So uh, if you like the video, please. Uh, consider subscribing and uh, supporting the channel and all that good stuff. There's links, links in the description for that. So guys, until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome, and uh, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.